Surgeon fish, tanks and unicorn fish belong to the typical picture of tropical coral reefs, especially in the Indian and Pacific Ocean. They all form the family of the Acantharidae, which comes from the Greek acantha, thorn, and aura, tail, so it's the thorn tails. That name refers to the 1 to 10 spines at each side of the tail base. The family consists of currently 72 known species, which are distributed into six genera. In reference to the name giving spines at the tail base, we can distribute them into two groups. The first group has fixed immobile spines, which always stick out in an angle to the body. The second group is capable of folding back their spines. The unicorn fish, like this orange spine unicorn fish, belong to the group with the fixed immobile spines. As we can see here, the fish has two spines on each side of the base with a very sharp edge toward the front. The same applies to the blue spine unicorn fish. Both species advertise their spines by highlighting them with a different color. But not all family members do so. Especially many tanks, like this yellow tail tank, has the spines in the same color as the rest of the body. Additionally, the tanks belong to the group which can fold back their spines. In case of the tanks, the spine is folded into a shallow depression, while the brittle tooth and surgeon fish have a deep groove. Up to now, it is controversial if the spine can be folded and can be moved actively or only passively. But in all cases, the anatomy seems to be the same. The spine is connected to the backbone and hip equivalent through a ligament. There is no muscle ending at the spine. Thus, erection of the otherwise folded back spine can happen in two ways. Either uh, through a general body tension at the base of the tail, or when the tip of the spine gets caught by something and thus is passively erected. The spines are used exclusively as defensive weapons in intra or interspecies confrontations.